Welcome to My South Africa. Here we talk about all things related to business and entrepreneurship using examples and illustrations that are easy to follow. In this video, we're going to talk about how to start a bakery business in South Africa. A bakery is one of the most fulfilling businesses. This is because people who usually go into this business are usually passionate about baking. The best thing about opening a bakery is that you don't have to have culinary experience or education. Anyone who is skilled in baking delicious treats can open a bakery business in South Africa. This is a guide on how to open a bakery. First, let's look at the types of bakeries that are there. There are retail bakeries and wholesale bakeries. Retail bakeries are the most common. These are traditional bakeries that sell goods directly to customers. These include baker cafes, home bakeries, cake shops, bakery food trucks, and counter services. Wholesale bakeries don't sell goods directly to customers, but to businesses like grocery stores, restaurants, and cafes. In this video, we'll be more focused on how to start a retail bakery business more than wholesale bakeries. This is because a lot of entrepreneurs prefer to start retail bakeries and they are generally easier to start and run compared to the lead. Here are some of the costs of opening a bakery. Company registrations. You will need to register your bakery business. Registering a business in South Africa costs 125 rands, but you might need a logo and you might need to trademark it as well, which might set you back around 3,000 rands. It is highly advisable to register it as a private company. Registering it as a private company protects your personal assets in case your client decides to sue you because of food poisoning. Branding and uniform. You will need to invest into branding your bakery. This is not that expensive. You will need to get a logo. A logo can cost anywhere between 150 rands and 1,500 rands in South Africa. We recommend you get a logo that costs at least above 500 rands if you want a high quality logo. You'll also need to have a uniform for your staff and it is of utmost importance for you to brand it with your logo. Operating premises. Operating premises will be one of your biggest operating expenses. The amount you pay for leasing a building will be highly influenced by the location. You can expect to pay more if you are renting a space in Johannesburg as compared to renting a space in a small town like Matadiel. Make sure that your operating premises are in an area that gets a lot of food traffic. This will help with the marketing and visibility of your business. A lot of your customers will be people who were just passing by then decided to check your place out. Insurance. Any business with tangible assets needs to have insurance. You will buy equipment for your business. What if something happens to it? People can break in and steal your equipment or it can be damaged by natural disasters. Insurance for a bakery should cost anywhere from 600 per month in South Africa. You also need to have insurance in case someone sues you for food poisoning or anything related. Renovations. You will have to remodel whichever building that you lease to fit the setting of a bakery. This will cost you a lot. You might find that the previous tenant was a furniture shop. You will have to spend money on plumbing, air conditioning, adding tables and everything necessary to make the room feel more like a bakery store. Renovations will probably be one of your highest costs when starting a business. You need to renovate the room to make it feel like a bakery store. Equipment. Equipment might set you back around 40,000 unless you buy used equipment which can be just as effective while saving you a lot of money. Bakery equipment can include bread pans, cake mixers, a dough divider, a dough molder and other equipment. This equipment will depend on what your bakery specializes on. Security. Any shop with a commercial space needs to have security. You need security to protect your assets in case of theft, robbery, or burglary. Security systems may include an alarm system and armed response services, cameras, and a safe to store your money. Utilities. These are the day-to-day -day things you need to run your business, including things like electricity, stationery, and other small costs. It's good to budget for three months in expenses for utilities. 
because your business might not make any significant profit during that time and you want to make sure that you still have enough money to keep the business going. Wages and salaries, you'll need a few people to help with running your business so that it becomes efficient. These people can include a baker and a person that is responsible for cleaning the premises and keeping them clean. Salaries are usually market related. Building and hosting a website. A website helps your business become more visible online. It makes it easier for people to find your business through Google and other search engines. You will pay anywhere between 1.2 to 3.5 for a good standard website in South Africa from reputable web designers. People who have never visited your bakery will use your website as a point of reference for what they can expect when they come to visit your bakery. They can also use the website to collect your contact details so that they can make orders. Grand Opening Marketing You will need to spend some money to advertise on your opening day. A grand opening helps get in a lot of customers and those customers might be loyal to you and your business. It is to help spread the weight and quick awareness about your bakery shop in a short amount of time. Just opening the bakery shop and waiting will take longer to get people to notice your bakery. Health requirements. Your bakery will need a health certificate before selling food to the public. Things like sinks and tables, ventilation and lighting, storage facilities, clothing and equipment will all have to be in good condition.